Welcome everyone to the Arms Warrior rework and changes for Battle for Azeroth. Uh, this is the alpha, so everything's set to change, but the main things I've seen with, with Arms Warriors is that a lot of their talents are being changed. Not changed, but moved up or around in the in the uh, talent tree. So for your first one, you've got War Machine, which is how it works in Fury, but instead of it giving you what, how, however much haste, 40% hate and 30% movement speed, it gives you speed, but just 10 rage, so it's not as good anymore. You also get Skull Splitter, which is good because you get 30 rage from it, but you are not really going to be being that low on rage, so Sudden Death is just good. It's like Alias, the legendary that Warriors had, which allows them to execute it on chance at any time, and it deal damage, and it will be as if you spent 40 rage. And it also costs no rage, so I always take Sudden Death. Your next one, you get Storm Bolt. Um... I just took double time because I like more charges, just dash around. Impending victory, I uh, just don't ever really like it. And Stormbolt obviously is this done. So your next one, so Trauma, Avatar and Rend, they've been moved from level 60 up to 45. Um, this is the same as you would take for um, for for just like in, as it was in Legion. So I just take Rend because it's just good, another, another button to press, keep that up on the target. If it was AoE I'd probably take Avatar. Um, I just take, second wind's been changed, and it's not as if you hit a certain health, you'll get 6%, it's, every time you're not taking damage, you'll restore 6% health, so, but I think D stance is just always really good, you can just pop that when a, um, when a DPS, when damage is coming onto you, and you can just pop that. So your next one is, this, this is a change, so, we no longer, arms warriors no longer have cleave. It's a, uh, it's a it's a talent. I just didn't take that. Uh, collateral damage. That's good for for AOE, but I just take uh, Warbreaker because it deals high damage and it's gonna shatter everyone within eight yards. This is like what their um, what their artifact ability was, where it would mark everyone and increase the damage you deal to them. So that's why I took it because it increased the damage you deal by the per target for thirty percent. So if you use this on pull. It's just really, really good. So now, um, in for the kill, wall, wall break it increases your critical strike chance by 10 or by 20% if target is below 20% health. So it just increases your DPS in execute phase. Further for battle, it's it's basically the sa same. Like it deals whirlwind. Whirlwind deals more to the primary target. This is not really that use useful because you're not going to be using whirlwind that much. And deadly calm, that's become a talent. Reduce the rage cost of your abilities by 100%. So yeah, so I just don't take that, I take in for the kill because I just want to increase the damage I'm doing in the execute phase. Now for your last talents, Ravager, Ang Manabin, they're the same, but then they've got Dreadnought. It was overpowers two charges that increases the damage of your next monk strike for an additional 10%. I just take this one for single target, it's just really, really good. Even anger management can be good in cases, but just Dreadnought all, this, all the way. So it kind of works the same as it does in Legion, so that you want to charge... Mark the target with your Warbreaker, then Rend. Now, I've got a free Execute prop, so I'm just going to use that. So with the Rage I've got from my Overpower, I'm just going to be using Slams. Make sure my Rend is stayed up. See, now I've got a free Execute, so it procs quite a bit, your um, your Execute. So now you just make sure you're using Overpower on cooldown, so I've got a free Overpower. And just make sure you're keeping Rend up. When you've got some spare time, maybe just Leap Out. And charge. And see, I got a free overpower, so make sure I'm using that. And then dump my rage in. Now I've got another overpower. Use my warbreaker. Hit all the targets and blade storm. And just big damage into the target. And yeah, warriors now have the uh, battle shout. So, it's like their old school ability where they just give everyone rage. So, you got to make sure you keep that up. But, yeah. But now, we'll show you the AoE talents. So, you want to be taking War Machine because you're obviously going to be killing a lot of adds. So, you want to take that War Machine because the adds will die and give you lots of rage. Even though you're not getting the haste anymore, the rage is still really good to use on Whirlwinds. Now, just use my Talent Tone and War Machine. Um, you can take any here, really. 
Double time, maybe. It's just down to you. Avatar, obviously, for that burst. Take that. Put that there. Then your next talent, whatever you want. Again, it's your defensive tree. Uh, next one, you want to take... Um, you want to take cleave because it's going to be hitting all the targets. So you take cleave. Because <clears throat> obviously if you do cleave and sweeping strikes, it's going to hit a lot of targets. And your next one, you want deadly calm just because it's just that extra CD you can pop with avatar and just deal so much damage. And then obviously ravager for the last one because it's just insane. So just another change of sweeping strikes, which was the talent was was a talent you could take in Legion has now just become a base spell for everyone. And that. For 10 seconds, your single target damaging abilities hit one additional target within 8 yards for 100% damage. So you just want to be make sure you're using this at the start of a pull. So say if we start off with your charge in, but I don't have charge on bar. So charge in, use overpower, colossal smash, slam a bit. Then maybe put down your, do deadly calm, put down your ravager, avatar, then sweep and strikes, and just hit the adds. And obviously because you're doing big damage and just whirlwind, whirlwind, whirlwind. See, Overpower is free, so use that. Whirlwind, Whirlwind, Whirlwind. Overpower is free, I'll use that. And then I'll start using Cleave. Because obviously they're bleeding now. And just doing Slam, 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 Slam. You want to be using your Rage on Whirlwind, really. To optimize it. And then just use Overpower. Use Whirlwind. Obviously, this is not not really shown it that well. Because ads aren't dying. But obviously, if ads were dying, you'd just be getting so much Rage to spend on Whirlwinds. Use the free Overpower, so you get more Rage. Colossal Smash, cleave them, just so I'm keeping up that um, that dot, and just keep smacking them, just use a Whirlwind, obviously when targets fail you'll have more Rage, but that is basically it, it's not really been changed around a lot, just a few things have been, the talent tree's been changed quite a bit, but I think some of it is set to change, and they might, they might bring back Deadly Calm for everyone, and give you the free Rage cost, but we'll see. Anyway, like and subscribe so you see more videos. See you in the next one.